So here we are in my old neighborhood. It's like uh, it's 10 years ago now since I used to live in New York. It's quite, quite hard to believe, but I was here from uh, about 1998 to 1999. And uh, this is where I used to live, right over there. That big red building. Such a, a wonder of architecture. <laughs> On the top floor, 280 West, oh, sorry, 280 East Hooter Houston, apartment 11 C or something like that it was. So, um, yeah, a bit, a bit of a nostalgic strip through the old neighborhood, huh? So, New York, that's where it all began for me, actually. I kind of want my, uh, won my position in the music industry. I won my job in a grand raffle back in 1987 where I just kind of filled my name and address in in a, in a grand raffle, funnily enough. And uh, it was sponsored by Campbell Cigarettes and I came out of the hat first and won a week in New York at the New Music Seminar, and, uh, which is sort of the equivalent of what the Winter Music Conference is now. Came out here and met loads of people from the UK record industry and within a couple of weeks of getting back I was offered a job and, uh, at DMC which uh, is where I got my job at, you know, at Mixmag because I used to own Mixmag. And I uh, came to New York many times, sort of late 80s, that period. I uh, went to, you know, the world and the Paradise Ballroom and Mars and 1018 and loads of those legendary clubs of the time. It was my home for a while and uh, uh, one of the most amazing cities in the world, as anybody who's been here will tell you. So I had a great view of, uh, of Midtown. And like I say, I hate to think what the rent is now because it <laughs> wasn't cheap in 1998. East Houston between B and C, 280. Don't remember it looking so drab. <laughs> Looks like a prison block. Wonder if Teddy still works there. Some proper audio to set to it, that'll be well worth it. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> you don't like the camera on you all the time, do you? Not really, no. <laughs> to uh, take this walk all the time from where I was living down to uh, down to Soho, Angelica Film Centre, uh, Angelica, is it Angelica or Angelica? I've no idea, didn't, never even figured that one out while I was here. Spend loads of afternoons wasted in watching films in that centre. So down here in the, in the late 80s, this is where I came to go to, uh, like Save the Robots used to be down in Alphabet City and there was another club called The World which is down this area. And uh, Lower East Side was pretty rough and ready at that time. Uh, but as, uh, as the city's developed and Manhattan's become much more expensive, uh, people have moved out to the other side of the water. But uh, it's still got kind of some of that Lower East Side charm left. I used to 
come record shopping down here as well when satellite was open. Back in the days when we used to buy vinyl, remember that quaint little idea. And of course, uh, CB, CBGB's down here as well. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty happening part of town. I really know what else to say about Bowery, really. <laughs> I'm trying to think, of, oh, forget it. Hello everyone, my name is David and I am a bathing ape addict.